Amid the growing insecurity concern in the West African country of Burkina Faso, citizens have been responding to the government's call to voluntarily join the cause of defending their countries against rebel groups. Now, some of the recruited people, including women, have expressed their willingness to help combat the growing insecurity to regain their liberty. Now, Burkina Faso has been dragged by two coups since the start of the year with each new leader accusing the previous of having failed to quell the violence. Here's more details of that in this report. These men and women are among many across Burkina Faso who have responded to the government's call to defend their country. They want to liberate areas still controlled by militants. This woman did not even tell her husband she will be coming to this recruitment center. For her, what matters most is helping to restore security in the country. My motivation is to respond to the urgency of recovering the territory and defending the homeland. The commitment can be direct or indirect, but we have the same objectives. We want solidarity. We want the authorities to work by listening to the people. If we work together, we will win the battle. These volunteers know the task ahead is challenging. Some of them even close their businesses so as to respond to the government's call. Usman Kulibali is a businessman and a senior high school teacher. He has already registered to join others in the battle against the militants. Being a volunteer for the defense of the country is my contribution so that the country can get out of the insecurity that we are experiencing today. Every Bukinabe can contribute in his own way to the war effort, whatever activity he carries out. Three days after the launch of a recruitment, a hundred people had registered at this site in Ouagadougou. Those being recruited are Burkinan bees aged at least 18 years or older who are physically and morally fit to defend their country. Since 2016, militants have carried out attacks in Burkina Faso targeting the army and civilians. Insecurity in the country has led to political unrest and a succession of coups. In 2020, when President Rod Kaboru announced the involvement of civilians in the fight, there was much concern. But today, the volunteers have shown their eagerness to liberate the